It was steamy and humid and definitely a lot hotter than the average for this type of year. Eric Dean, Dean is tracking those temperatures as well as some storms moving through the area. That's right, Amy and Ken. Matter of fact, we made it to 94 today, and you said earlier a few seconds ago, well above our average. 85 is where we should be for this time of year. 73 was our morning star, our average uh, low for this time of year, 64 degrees, so well above average on both ends of the spectrum. And we weren't the only place seeing temperatures in the 90s and triple digits. Look at this. Right now, St. Louis is at the century mark, 98 in Oklahoma City. Dallas is at 100, 99 in San Antonio, 94 in Houston, 92 in Brownsville. That's your air temperature. Take a look at the feels like 109 in St. Louis, 107 in Memphis, 105 in Louisville, 100 in Oklahoma City, 101 in Dallas, as well as the southern part of Texas. Now, the good news is we are going to cool off as we go into tomorrow. So we had that severe thunderstorm watching effect for the areas shaded in pink. So Vernon, Crawford, uh, Richland, Winnesheek, and Alamakee County. This goes into effect until midnight tonight. Here's the radar scan, and there's that storm that's pushing its way across the southern portion of the viewing area. There's Prairie de Chine, uh, right here. So we go up towards Lansing over towards Viroqua, just south of Viroqua, getting in on some thunderstorm activity. Now, in terms of hail, nothing being reported right now, but this is the hail zone over the next 30 minutes, and I'm not saying that, yes, you will see hail. This just shows that if you were to see it, this is where it's going to be, over, over towards our Iowa counties, pushing into portions of uh, Wisconsin, just south of Viroqua. And again, we're going to keep an eye on this as we go into the next several minutes, but we're not out of the woods yet as our next weather maker is now pushing its way into western Minnesota. And this is going to scoot through over the next several hours. You can see it right here where it's producing a line of severe thunderstorm warnings across central Iowa and south central Minnesota. So this is something that we're going to keep an eye on uh, for a while. So the weather headlines for today, that thunderstorm watch is staying in effect. Much, much cooler tomorrow with highs in the 70s and 80s and I'm not going to rule out a renegade shower or two uh, in the afternoon going into the evening hour. So here's Sky Tracker. We'll go ahead and start the clock and take a look here uh, at your Wednesday. There's that stray shower I was talking about by 6 a.m. For the most part, it's out of here by the one o'clock hour across the northern portion of the viewing area. Maybe a stray shower too, but I think we're going to be left uh, with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies as we head into uh, your Thursday. But outside right now, there we go. 90 degrees at the airport, 88 downtown. Uh, humidity is sitting at 59%. It feels like 99 out there with winds uh, out of the northeast at eight miles per hour. So here's our setup as we go into uh, the next several days. The stationary boundary, it's just that. It's stationary, not going anywhere. This is going to slowly sag south, and when it does, we'll see those temperatures drop. We go from highs in the 90s, even low triple digits today, to highs in the 70s and 80s by your Thursday. As a matter of fact, there you go. Temperatures in the 70s and 80s for Thursday. 79 Rochester, 83 in Eau Claire, 80 in La Crosse, 83 will be the high in Sparta. So your first alert forecast for tonight, 67 degrees. Late thunderstorm chance not out of the question, especially across the southern portion of the communities, or the, the viewing area, I should say. Otherwise, mostly cloudy skies. Winds will be out of the north at around 5 to 10 miles per hour, 78 is all we're going to see for tomorrow. Again, keeping that thunderstorm chance in the forecast. Otherwise, mostly cloudy skies. Here's the next eight days. The way I see it, we'll see temperatures going into the low 80s for Thursday, Friday, as well as this weekend. Matter of fact, guys, this weekend, we're seeing temperatures right around 81, 82 degrees. And we stay right around normal for this time of year mm -hmm. as we go into this time next week. So we've got to get past the next several hours. But after that, I think it's smooth sailing ahead. All right, can't go wrong with low 80s. Yeah, right. like that. Thanks a lot, Eric. Right, you bet.